everyone, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial, and this is the second part, part two, of uh, the Gradient Tool Photoshop tutorial. Uh, so last time we I went over the basics, and then also how to create a custom gradient. Uh, let's create a different kind of custom gradient. So go ahead and open up a photo. You want to maybe add a gradient to as a layer on top of it in Photoshop and uh, choose the gradient tool so again it's G on the keyboard or just click it on the toolbar and just go up to the option panel and just click right on top of it not the down arrow but actually on top of the gradient brings up the gradient editor and instead of solid here let's go ahead and change that to noise and what that does is it creates a different kind of gradient more kind of a uh, one with a lot more hues, all right? Uh, and if you change roughness to 0%, that's gonna be like your traditional gradient that we've been creating. If you bump it up to 100%, it's got a bunch of different hues in there. By default, it's at 50%, I'm gonna keep it at that. All right, and there's some options on the side. If you do restrict colors, what that does is it tries to avoid the, the oversaturation in certain areas. So if you check that, it'll make sure None of the hues are oversaturated. If you add transparency, it will randomly add transparency to parts of it as well. So I'll get rid of the transparency, but I'm going to keep restricted colors on. There's three color models that we can possibly use. So the first is RGB, red, green, blue. Those are the channels of light on the screen. Uh, one that isn't here is CMYK. That's not available, you know, cyan, magenta, yellow, black for traditional printing. But RGB is the other one that you often hear about, probably um, red, green, blue. So what that is is if I just take the red, and just bring it over here, uh, the the black arrow over, it brightens it up the red area. If we bring over the green, bring over the blue, it will just affect all of it. What range? Of color they all have. If you hit randomize, so I'll just set this back to the default, uh, you can click randomize until you see one that you like, do a bunch of different ones, and then if you don't like the red there you can actually bring the bring that over, it'll get darker, or you can brighten it up. So you can adjust the hues in all these different areas, brighten it up or make it darker, just depending on which arrow you're sliding over. All right. The other one is uh, HSB, so that is hue, saturation, and brightness. So the hue is just that. I mean, you can you click randomize here. Uh, you can tell it which hue range to use. You can also make it more saturated. If you brought this all the way to the left, it would be like grayscale. All right, bring it over to the right. It's more saturated. And then brightness is just that you can make it a lot brighter or a lot darker. All right. And then lab, L is for luminance. So how much light. So if we do it uh, high luminance over here, it will be pretty bright. And then the A and B are just chromatic. Uh, so they're, you know, this kind of greenish to this pinkish red over here. Uh, and you can adjust the different ranges there as well. And then we have blue and yellow to experiment to. You can hit randomize in any of these. All right. So if we do RGB and hit randomize, say we find one that we kind of like, and then we can still adjust it after the fact, add a little bit more hue in it. Once you have one that you like, you can just put it here. I'll just put abstract gradient, click new, and then it's ready for us to use there. So if I click OK, create a new layer, and just click and drag, adds it on top, and then you can change you know, whatever blending mode you want for specific effects. All right. So you can use this in landscape, you can use this in portraits. Um, if I click it again, uh, let's adjust this one. Let me try a different example, uh, maybe with not as many hues. So we'll try kind of an orangish one here. Make it pretty saturated. Bring this in a little bit more. And the roughness, I'm going to bring it back over to the left. So there's not as many uh, 
different delineations there. And I'll call this another noise gradient custom. Click new, click OK. Same thing here, create a new layer, add that in, and then we can just do overlay or soft light. You can experiment with all the different layer blending modes um, if you want. And if it's too strong, you can bring the opacity down as well. One more thing to consider is when you have these gradients here, if you click the down arrow and you click over to the side, last time we went over these uh, default gradients, right? Uh, you can also go to load gradients, you can download gradients, you can save sets of gradients, all right? And you can also, if you hit reset gradients, what that does is uh, just click OK, and then if you don't want to save changes, hit no. It just resets it to the default up there, all right? So that's how to create uh, a little bit different kind of gradient, a noise gradient, a custom one uh, in Photoshop for a unique effect.